No. No. Whoa. That's <laughs> veterans watching, dude. What's going on? We don't, we don't want to get into that. <laughs> I mean, they may get mad at me, too. <laughs> I'm okay. you, All right. I, I'm That's not for the military, bro. No, sir. Then, so you fundamentally disagree with going? Or you I straight I up disagree with everything about the military. All right. So what are things I don't know about d -Rod? <laughs> um, D. Raj do what he got to do. D. Raj is not a complainer. D. Raj is a survivor. He is a winner. Mm -hmm. He is uh, positive, optimistic, um, go getter. Any anything you can think of as a champion. That looked like Stevens wrote that for you. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I understand you got to do your stepping, but. You 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 in the real regime. I, like right like now. okay, I'm, I'm a. I, Where were you born? In Atlanta, Georgia. So you from the? Egg. Yeah yeah. But after that, you know, uh, we moved up to North Carolina. Then we moved to Virginia. And that's where I spent most of my life in uh, seven five seven. Uh huh. Uh, that's why I seen you. You know, I was like, oh okay, you know, I felt more comfortable getting in the truck yeah. when I saw your videos. Yeah yeah. But anyway, I'm from the sale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, Norfolk all day, just right, right. beat gang, they already know what it is, hemp, <laughs> new bad news, how at me. Right. So, your, you and your sister is from the A? Yeah, yeah, my sister. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I must say, I got a big family, man. Uh, so pops, sister. Yeah, Pops been married four times. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, you got, you got sisters that don't even look like you. Nah, yeah. I got, I got it, I think, counting, it's almost 16, 17, probably. I yeah. got eight. Yeah, and it's you know once um oh, my. yeah because you know like uh my his second wife still she still called her mom mm. and her husband had you know had some trips so once we meet right there we're brother we ain't no step brother step sister none of that we no brother. you don't do the half yeah we don't do thing. that this this is my brother and sometimes oh y'all look just alike you know we good so yeah. but um but yeah so we I'm here and mm -hmm. uh. That's why I kind of I came back down here. From my office is in Norfolk, but mm -hmm. you know. Oh, I why is your office in my hometown? That's that's where I started my business. Yeah, you going to move that? We got to move that. Yeah, I'm gonna move. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, we'll a, it's a good idea. But yeah. no, if if, if if so, so you're from Georgia. Then what did you do for a job? What, did you go to the military? No. No. Whoa! <laughs> that's veterans watching, dude. What's I don't know. We don't. We don't want to get into that. <laughs> I mean, they may get mad at me too. <laughs> I'm okay. You, All right. I, I'm That's not for the military, bro. No, sir. Then, so you fundamentally disagree with going, or you I straight I just... up disagree with everything about the military. Wow. I say, and I have family in the military, and I tell them how I feel. But, you know, again, that's that's my opinion. You can't get mad at me for my opinion. That is but it's just... No, 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 no. They can't prosecute you. Right, right. Yeah, you, get, yeah, you can get mad. You can get mad, but, you okay. know, it's just, you know, we so, always so fight you... more than other people's countries, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I I get that. I get that. I ain't even going to go there. Yeah, but, um, okay, so you went, you didn't go to the military. What was your first, what was your job? What did you do? Uh, you my first job was at Wendy's. Uh, oh, at Wendy's, too. Yeah, what had happened was uh, when I was a junior... Because uh, before, you know, I was a football player, basketball track. Mm -hmm. I was not allowed to have a job. You know, sports and school was my job. But I got caught with a girl up in my crib, well, in my dad's house. And uh, he said, oh, you grown, huh? So then he was like, yo, you got to get a job. And uh, got, you know, Wendy's. So the sweet meat got you. Yeah, it got me. It got me. Dang, though. Yeah, like, yeah. I try to preach against it, y'all. Yeah, yeah, it got me, man. You know, but, you know, to tell you the truth, um, knowing what I know now, bro, you know, starting at at Wendy's at sixteen. By the time I was eighteen, I was a shift lead. Mm. The store the store managers they making thirty forty dollars uh, an hour plus overtime. They making some money. I did not know that. Yeah, really? yeah. I didn't know. That. And it's unlimited. Oh well, I don't know what it. Back then it was unlimited overtime, so I don't know. But um, I forgot the dude's name. But the money he was showing me. Everybody's peddling poison to his own people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry. there's that. But right, I mean, right. yeah, I heard. I, I didn't think the the ship the manager was making. I thought the regional manager was the one making money. Oh, they making they making stupid money too. But the the store manager, 
at that time. And, so and how she you can go as an enlisted dude with no college education and store manager, right? I don't know. You can't get the general manager without college education. Probably so. But I was in college at the time. Well, by the time I turned 18, I was in college. Mm. So, mm. you know, I'm an educated brother, you know, master's degree, business and sports marketing. So, you know. Mm. Yeah. I mean, so D. Rogers is smarter than they think. <laughs> and okay. again, you know, it, it's... To be honest with you, King D. Raj is a is a character in a way, um, and it's funny because people be like, oh, you know, when it come to business, they be mm -hmm. like, you're not the same as on the on the video, yeah, because on the video that's, that's you know, but when we conduct the business, purposely on purpose, right? right. But on, on when we doing business, bro, I don't got time to play around, so mm. you know, that's just I can be what I need to be at the time that I need to be that, you know, what I'm saying, so mm. that makes sense, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's so, why you think why why you know. Well, well, I mean, I feel like you're everyone's entitled to their opinion on things. Right. Um, in trucking, it is it's very visceral. It's just yeah, like yeah. it's like competing religious factions. Yeah. You may be in the authority the mount the authority <laughs> denomination or the least fleet denomination right, or right. the company denomination or the local denomination <laughs> i'm not gonna go there but i mean you may be whatever you are right. but at the end of the day dude you're just trying to make some money and do what you need to freaking do. i just i sit back and laugh at you know the people that really get angry and if you're not doing this or doing and it's, it's like i'm really trying to find an industry where people get so angry and like, like myself, some most people they came into trucking either their last chance or, or no money, mm -hmm. and they forget like where they came from. Yeah, it's like you know, I deserve this. Yeah, it's like yo, and and me sitting at the end again. This is where you know I come sugar footing, but it's just I look at things. I always look at things from both sides. So. And, be, and being a, a fleet owner or whatever you want to call me, you see why businesses are the way they are. Mm -hmm. It is so tough. And, and the, what I got going on, I'm involved with their personal finance. Like I don't have control over it, but I say, hey, look, boom, this is, this is how your finance look. This is how you should set your money up. This is how you should set your accounts up. This is how you should do with your taxes. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. And you got people that are paying attention to what I'm saying. And they're doing what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And you got the people who just said, F what you talking about, I'm going to just do my own thing. Yeah. And you can see the difference. And it's like, why am I trying so hard to help you? You don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. So let me just go on over here and, and help the ones that want to listen. Because it just it's like a lost cause, man. It's, I'm showing you, and I know it works, because I have at least six people doing what they're supposed to be doing. And it's not all it's in trucking, it's other people in other places, but mm -hmm. they are doing what they're supposed to do and they're successful. And it's just like and, and sitting sitting at Stevens, like Stevens gives cars, let you drive a car. Mm -hmm. You can get it for an hour. We got brand new twenty nineteen or twenty twenty Honda Accords. Not even a month. Mm. Smell like got that going smoke, food on the floor, people just leaving stuff in there. But you're gonna talk about the company. Mm. So or not bringing the car back on on time. time, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like I <laughs> see why, you know, and and, and I because I, even people that are close to me when they get angry at companies or what they're doing, I say, whoa, whoa, slow down, Mister Billionaire. Think about you running your billionaire company. How would you have your stuff set up? You just let people run wild, huh? You just hey, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Do U-turns in the yeah, middle of have rules yeah, yeah. In here. Do whatever you want to do. Hmm, you won't be a billionaire for long. So, you know, that's what I look at that. Cause All rules come from someone who screwed it up and made that rule. Exactly. Crash the car. We don't provide cars no more. But the first day, people were racing damn things out of, out of the road, bro. In front of the damn place. But then you, you angry. If, if they was to take the car. Because, see, this is what happened when you know they child mentality. If he was to take the cars away, people would talk trash. <laughs> or just say only the fleet owners can drive them. <laughs> also, I ain't a fleet owner now, you know what I'm saying? Because they know they're going to take, and, and, you know, do I get some special privilege? Probably. But I'm not the only one. But if they see that you are about your business, they help you. If you ain't out here to, to, to do business, what, what am I going to help you for? The only problem I have with large companies like that is them controlling what I say. I don't like that. But see, that's the thing. They don't control what I say? Mm -hmm. A little bit. If I was at Stevens, 
mm. I wouldn't be at Stevens. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I could not be who I am and say what I say mm. and be at your company. They would not allow. But me. what? So what? Could, what's something I can't say? <laughs> Because they don't have any control of my videos. Well, I mean, they sure enough call someone else we know about their videos. They might have said something crazy. But again... What's crazy? I, I don't know. But do they keep saying what they're saying or... What do you mean? Do they keep saying what they I don't know. Whoever they call. So if they had a problem with what you said, do you keep saying or do you not? See, that's no problem. I don't want to be in that conversation. I want to uh, say what I want to say. Right, right, right. If right. I want to get on here and talk about... Uh, yeah. Mandatorious manumission or whatever, or right. something. But that see, is but it. Crazy.